Everything goes wrong the moment we play the third chord of the song. I look down in horror as I can feel the strings beneath my fingers pop. My guitar, my anchor is breaking down in front of me and I hear my voice start to fall out of key as I lose all confidence in my singing. Slowly, I realize what's happening. I've broken not one, but two strings on my guitar. But to make it even worse, we're in the middle of the first song of a two hour gig. It's in this moment that I'm thinking to myself, okay, do I stop, do I keep going, or do I just give up and walk into oncoming traffic? Let's go. Years ago, my folk band, The Optimist Club, got our very first gig. It was a two hour gig, but we had maybe enough material to play an hour at the time. So that meant with two weeks before the gig, my fiddle player Mason and I started learning every single song that we could possibly play. But these were not easy songs to play. Many of them had complicated melodies and tons of lyrics. But after practicing every night for over a week, like drilling through every song that we knew, we felt like we finally had enough material to cover a, a two hour gig. It's the day of the gig and I show up an hour early in order to get set up. But I am completely shocked at what I see. On stage playing, there's a three woman folk group that's singing, uh, harmonizing and playing just beautifully. And immediately I feel that feeling of like cold water going down your back, like as all of my insecurities just come rushing to the surface. These women are amazing, and Mason and I could never be that good. They're even playing similar music to us. After one particular cover of a John Prine song called Angel from Montgomery, everybody in the parlor just erupts into applause. Now I'm feeling even more nervous. Not only are these ladies really good, but we have to play right after them with songs that we barely know and zero shot of singing them as well. Mason is running late, but the band on stage finishes and I'm getting really nervous. I'm like thinking like, am I going to have to play this gig all by myself while I wait for him to show up? I have a good reason to be nervous because Mason's fiddle playing adds a ton to our sound, really fills everything out. And I just can't sound that good as just one person playing guitar and singing. But finally, Mason arrives and we start setting up. The stage feels like it's a mile high as we start doing the sound check. I mean, just walking up the stairs felt like climbing a mountain. But to my surprise, everything in our sound check is incredibly loud. The vocals, the guitar, the fiddle, everything just is like blaring as I start to feel like the room kind of start to spin. Getting worried that I might pass out, I just I hold onto the mic stand to try to steady myself. And feeling a little dizzy, I tune my guitar for like the 15th time as I kind of check my sound one more time in the front of house speakers. The house engineer gives us the green light as in, hey, start playing. But I am feeling like at a climax of nerves right now. Although I feel like I might pass out, I start counting in the first number. Tonight, I'll be staying here with you by Bob Dylan. Almost immediately, the unthinkable happens. We're playing the third chord maybe five seconds into the song when I feel this like really strange sensation underneath my fingers. I look down in horror as I start to feel the strings underneath my fingers pop and I can hear my voices falling out of key. Slowly, I realize what's happened. I've broken not one, but two strings on my acoustic guitar. In the moment, I can't even register which of my strings have broken as I hear this pop coming from my left hand side. And I look over at Mason, who also looks totally terrified and frozen. But trying to sing and play a guitar with four strings, I try to lift up my guitar to signal to Mason that I've broken some strings and I need help. But it turns out I'm not the only one that's having trouble. The pop that I heard to my left was the sound of one of Mason's strings breaking on his fiddle. And he's trying to tell me that he needs a second because he's broken a string by kind of like nodding at me underneath his violin. It seems so silly, but in the moment, like surges of adrenaline are just pushing me and I'm freaking out about how badly things are going. I'm feeling alone. I'm feeling lost. I'm feeling very vulnerable. And this is the worst idea ever, but I start looking out at the audience and I can tell that they know that something's going wrong up here, that we're totally bombing. The women that played before us are staring at me in horror because they can see that I'm missing every single note and that I am in deep trouble. Finally, after feels what, like 20 years, Mason and I finally finish the last chords of the first song. We've just finished the first song of about 30 
and I am feeling completely shattered. I start making jokes about having to borrow a guitar. Did anybody bring an extra guitar? As the girls who played previously to us make their way to the stage to help us out. The guitar player from the group before us says that I can borrow her guitar to finish out our set. But as awesome and as gracious as that was, that means that now I have to play in front of this woman that's seen me bomb for the next two hours. I made just about every possible performance mistake that night. We had to learn a ton of songs at the last minute. We got scheduled to play after a band that was way more talented and I felt super intimidated. And we didn't change our strings and we weren't prepared with our gear. On top of that, we hadn't played together long enough. Bottom line, we didn't set ourselves up for success. If you've ever had an absolutely terrible performance, you know that it's not the end of the world, even though it really feels like it at the time. These moments are super embarrassing and painful, but they're absolutely necessary to help you build your career as a performer. Unfortunately, we learn through pain, but in this experience, I learned so much about myself and how to keep playing even though things seem totally impossible. Have you ever had a performance that went completely off the rails and you felt super embarrassed? Share your experience in the comments below. Don't hold back, let's learn from each other. I guarantee someone else has bombed worse than you.